All right, good morning. Welcome to another edition of Screencast Nomadic with Mr. Runyon. Morning edition. That's never happened before because the internet is terrible. All right, the first one substitutionally match these solutions to their equations. If we look at it, it really is a fraction. 12 over A equals 4. A fraction is nothing more than a division problem. So 12 divided by what equals 4? The answer is 3. 3. A equals 3. 3. B over 7. What number divided by 7 is going to equal 6? Well, it's definitely not 7. 7 divided by 7 is 1. 36, I don't even get divided by 7. 3, we already used, so that leaves 42. Oh, no, that's a 3. And the last one, 56 divided by what equals 8? It's not going to be 36. Come on. It don't even make sense. Get out of here with that nonsense. It's going to be 7. Jeez, we got this. Use a commutative tiv, tiv property to... I can't even say that. Who who comes up with these words? Commutative. 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 I think that's how we say it. I Class. Use a commutative property to write an equivalent expression. Who knows what the commutative is? Ayla. <laughs> it's 7 plus H. 7 add H. Isn't that? So the commutative property is the same thing as what it is already? I need, I need a second opinion. Yes, ma'am. I disagree. She disagrees. Oh, she's saying that it's the same answer, that 7 add this H. On the other side, that is the commutative? Yes. Are you, uh, is you sure? Yes. Should we check? We'll, 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 let's check her answers real quick. Oh, cheat sheet, where are you? Let's just check our cheat sheet. So 7 H equals, well, it should be 7 plus H, but the commutative Property is just writing the same thing and just flipping it. Like I'm flipping out right here, just trying to spell out commutative. Well, you just said it. Commutative. My nose. So we was all close and dandy. I'm going to take this H and put it over here because that's the commutative. Commutative property just means I can flip it. And it's still going to equal the same thing. If I take 1 and I add 2 to it, but instead I have 2 and I add 1 to it, don't I still get 3? Yes. 3. Commutative property. What another property? It's a harder word to say than commutative. Associate? What? Associate. If, I can't say that word because if I say that associative property, sometimes I start off with a bad word and I get in trouble. Number three, identify if the question is statistical or non-statistical. I failed that in high school. What is your favorite movie? That's not a question. I want to know what. Is that statistical? Yes, ma'am. I think it's statistical. She thinks it's statistical. Why? Woo! Gathering information. I'm gathering information on you. Just you, right? Yeah, that's statistical. I'm come. I'm a come. I'm a gathering on you. Anybody else? Girl, I'm back. Woo! We got an agree. Sweet baby. Yes, ma'am. This is that same girl that earlier that disagreed. Got it right. What do you think it is? Why? Both of it. Because it doesn't give you any options. Oh, shoot. Everything she wants she wants more than one boot. She wants two boots. If I have two boots, can I compare two boots? Yes. Can she compare her one boot? No. No. She ain't got no boots on. I got boots on. Thank you. Hey, hey. We's recording here. 
So do we think it's statistical or not statistical? Not statistical. Not. The card, it's in the library. El Libro. Nutcracker. My bad. Hey, I love your pumpkin. Pumpkin. I wish. Miss Augustine. Graph and label the polygon. It's from Utah. Awesome. Let's get her done. One, two. That's a positive, positive. Positive, positive. I hope these dots going to stay. Seven, twos. That's another positive. Seven, twos. I got seven, twos. I got $14 then. Buy me Mountain Dew. Three, five. I got a three here. I got a three here. And I got a niner fiber. Niner fiber. I'm going to connect these dots. Look at there, baby. I got Table Rock. I've been to Table Rock. Get my boots on, my Mountain Dew. Let's go dancing to this polygon. What you got? No. We drink Mountain Dew in my house. What, what kind of polygon this is? Yes, ma'am. It's a parallelogram because they're all parallel. Cool, but it's also got another name. Yes, ma'am. It's a wrong bus because it's wrong bus. That's not a H. It's a wrong bus. You know that cool, what is it? Is that them blue shape that we played with and build houses when we was kids? Them blocks? And you got them yellow ones? Triangles? Yeah, oops. Oh no, you must stroke on the back. Oh no, no. I don't know how to do the Mackey Mackey. Eddie Little doodle. Perfecto. Okay, I'm back. Carol. Mm -hmm. Graph and label the polygon. We got another one, classy class. Two minus seven. What? Two, negative seven. I said negative seven. You didn't hear me say no minus seven. No, I didn't. No, you didn't. Five, negative three. We got the five. We got the negative three. This is that axis. This X axis. X axis. I got some X's. X. It's five positive. Why, I don't know though, is negative three. Why is it negative three? Why couldn't it have been positive? That's what we got that's wrong with the people today. Everybody's so negative. Nine negative three. Nine negative three. Shoo! That there be the right one. We got another one. A nine negative seven. Bingo! Nine. Negative seven. And then guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to connect these dotsies here. Whoa. Yuck -oo. Got it. Ay, ay, ay. No! It made a triangle. <laughs> okay. I'm trying one more time. I'm going to do a swiggly right here. Swiggly around it. Oh, another triangle. All right, we're going to... We're gonna double swig it. Swiggy, swiggy. Swiggy. Ooh, we're gonna quadruple it. Swiggy, swiggy, swiggy. And then maybe, like. Oh, there we go. I got it. You got no mud on my boots. That's it. Adios, muchachos.